Welcome to this Argos Multilingual webcast. In this session, we'll look at what desktop publishing is, the benefits of a pre-translation DTP, and provide tips for effective content creation. Desktop publishing, or DTP for short, is the creation of documents using page layout skills on a personal computer. DTP software has revolutionized the way we publish printed and online materials. This is because it's accessible, affordable, and powerful software which allows content authors to create graphics and to design attractive documents easily from their desktop, which are ready for publishing. When creating a document that's only going to be published in a single language, authors don't really face constraints regarding either the software they choose or, indeed, the techniques which they apply. Things change, though, when releasing in multiple languages. You need to optimize your content for the translation process in order to take into account how other languages handle fonts which you use or how text can expand for some languages. Get these things wrong and your carefully laid out English when translated can become quite useless for readers of other languages. Of course, multilingual DTP can address these problems, but if the original content isn't optimized for the process, it can be time consuming and costly. First of all, it's very important to choose DTP software which is supported by commonly used computer-aided translation tools. Most often, this means Adobe FrameMaker and Adobe InDesign file formats for technical communication such as user manuals and getting started guides, because they're built with language compatibility in mind. Your language service provider can help you choose if you're not sure. In terms of your writing technique, hard returns should only be used to mark the end of a paragraph. Most computer-aided translation tools use a hard return to mark the end of a translation unit, together with periods, exclamation marks, and question marks. This means that the sentence can appear as two separate segments to a linguist. It can be harder to understand a series of fragments than flowing text, meaning quality can suffer and sentence fragments actually pollute your translation memory, eventually making it less effective at supplying matches for linguists and gradually increasing the cost of supplying high-quality translated materials. Style sheets are one of the most useful tools in DTP. They let you know exactly which fonts and styles you've used in your document and allow you to apply or update complicated formatting in just a few steps. They make it easy to change formatting globally throughout a document, much easier than manually changing your formatting. The lack of distinct paragraph styles, which can be globally updated to accommodate text expansion, can substantially increase post-translation DTP effort and costs. Using well-defined paragraph and character styles can reap big rewards for projects with a large number of documents with a common layout. These styles can be reused, saving time and money each time a new document is created. Instead of embedding text in your graphics, localization-savvy authors use text boxes it's very easy to add layers to documents, for example in InDesign, which can contain a text box over one or two graphics. This simple step will save your language provider from having to extract text from graphic content for translation, as well as saving a great deal of time during post-linguistic desktop publishing. The biggest challenge in designing document templates for multilingual projects is creating page layout that will accommodate post-translation text expansion. It's not easy to create an English source document that has enough white space or breathing room around text elements. Many languages can expand the line count by as much as 35%. Language expansion is further magnified by narrow containers, for example side notes in the margin, table cells, indented text or boxed cautions and warnings. To summarize, if you implement these best practices, you can save a lot of time and money on your translation projects, avoid document reconstruction after translation, decrease the number of steps in the translation process while increasing layout and language consistency across all of your documents. Thank you for watching our webcast. For more information on how we can help your business to grow, visit us at www.argosmultilingual.com.